Mark Gedos, consultant plastic surgeon. You've asked me who's the perfect candidate for an upper eyelid blepharoplasty. Now, the perfect candidate will be a woman or a male who has heavy excess upper eyelid skin, which is making them look tired and grumpy and probably causing inflammation of the upper eyelid uh, eyelashes. Now, what does the surgery entail? It can be done with you asleep or awake. And what we do is we take out the excess, excess upper eyelid skin, which is causing the problem. Um, sometimes there's little foci, little lumps of fat that also are bulging, and we may take those out as well. But it's very important not to overdo that because de um, bulking the eye, taking out the fat makes it look hollow and can give an aging look. Uh, we close up with dissolving sutures and generally this is done as a day case. Uh, you go home and you're pretty much back to normal by the next day. I do say take it quietly in terms of going to work and going to the gym for a couple of days and I'll see you back at two weeks to make sure that your dissolving sutures have all um, fallen away. So who's going to benefit from this? Well, someone who doesn't like the heavy, grumpy, tired look of having extra eyelid skin, and also if there's any bulging fat. Um, these are all patients who will benefit from the upper eyelid surgery, which is really one of my favorite operations because for a very moderate operation, you get a massive result. Uh, it's very important not to overdo it. Never done that, of course. Uh, and you possibly will get a little bit of bruising and swelling um, for several days afterwards. If you go to my website, you'll see a number of before and after photographs and also a downloadable um, patient information pack to give you more uh, detail on this topic. I'd be very welcome, you'd be very welcome to come in and have a consultation. I'll have a look at you. We'll go over um, how the operation's done and whether it's suitable for you. We'll also look at some more before and after photos. In some instances, this operation, especially if it's covered, uh, combined with a drooping eyelid, may be covered by your medical insurance company. If it's not, then we have an interest-free payment plan scheme available to help with funding the operation.